YouTube, Topaz Yates, back with another episode of Music News, man. And this week in the news, 50 Cent has accepted an executive producing gig with Fox. He's going to be acting in and executively producing a sitcom called My Friend 50, in which pretty damn interesting because he did the damn thing with power. We'll see how that translates to a comedy sitcom and such. And you know, a lot of people tried to make this into something that it really wasn't trying to say that he's teaming up with Empire and shit, when that has nothing to do with this. These people just decided to pay 50 for all of his hard work to give him something new. And since we talking about 50 Cent, he came out pretty much venting about Def Jam and how they did Jeremiah, who is his pretty good friend. Pretty much calling Def Jam some fucking idiots for trying to sell his album, Jeremiah's new joint, at $18.99, which I did not even see that shit, but yes, that is fucking stupid. But honestly, you look at it like, okay, Jeremiah had to piss somebody the fuck off to the point that he's damn near blackballed and shit, because one, his album got delayed for so fucking long, who the fuck was keeping track of it? And two, ain't nobody dumb enough to try to sell an album at prices before the motherfucking internet. This is them getting back at him for some shit, and something that all MCs should always look at. Before you sign a record deal with any label, look at how they treat their fucking artists. Like, everybody likes Def Jam and shit, they're like the pioneer record label and shit, but what have they done for Big Crit besides undership his units and not promote his shit? What did they do for Logic? No motherfucking promotion. What did they do for Jeremiah? Fucked him over in the game. Next, Kanye West and his shoe, the Yeezy Boost and shit from Adidas, they just were given an award for shoe of the year from some award show I've never fucking heard of. The Foot Year News Awards and such, man, and you know, them damn Yeezys was ugly as fuck, and I really don't see anybody rocking them bitches, dude. So, it makes you look very sideways at these types of awards, especially if they just gonna give Kanye some shit just so he can talk about some shit. Because you know Kanye loves his motherfucking awards. Next, Chief Keith got suspended from his record label for poor decision making. Now, the head of the film on record label pretty much came out saying this is nothing against Chief Keith and such. They feel as though he's a phenomenal rapper and all of that bullshit, which he's not, but anyway, this is more about his management taking him in directions that he really should not be going, like doing a video with this guy named D. Flores, which he's caught up in a case right now over kidnapping and prostitution, and going on a tour that the label did not approve on and shit, pretty much saying that this isn't really getting him anywhere. And you know, bad management definitely does fuck up a lot of shit, man, so a lot of people need to be smarter with who they select to be the managers instead of just a friend or cousin or some bullshit like that. You should honestly select the right people for the job. And lastly, Joey Badass canceled a good handful of shows that he had and such. Pretty much saying that he was mentally and physically drained, so he had to cancel all of these shows at Copenhagen, Stockholm, Helsinki, and Ohio. And you guys know me, I'm hell on artists that be canceling shows and shit, man, because why even put it together if you didn't have the motivation to do that shit in the beginning? But as you start looking at these shows and realize these is all in different places, like, I'm not exactly sure how far away they was, but ultimately they was back to back to back to back. Every day he was planned to do a different show and shit in which he's been doing this for quite some damn time. So I can understand him being broken down and tired and shit. This is really just poor planning and you know I understand you out here you gonna get this damn money but ultimately you should have at least one or two days in between there. Even NBA players get one or two days before the next motherfucking game as they play like 90 some fucking games a damn year. So I ain't mad at him just always understand even when on the road you get that money, but you still do need a little bit of time for rest, man. But anyway, this was another Industry Talk. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.